the madman. Let's see what kind of holy goodness we get today. Ooh, sinful. Sushi. Can I get some silver hand synergy in here? The gorilla bot is really good if it works. And I'm a paladin. And there's a decent chance I get a mech. But on the other hand, Arena, you don't get very many big cards. But this is not a, you know, this is a reactive big card. You want the proactive big cards. Anyways, I'll go Gorilla Butt. Eh. Excellent. Specialist. Bone Flinger. The Hippo. Oh, now that's a big card. No, that's a good card, too. Though. But that's a really good card. Uh, I want all the... This, I want all three, but Templar Captain's insane. Uh, Yeti, I guess. Seal of Blood. That's pretty insane. Legendary! I think based on the idea of wanting big cars, Lorthermar Theron certainly fulfills that objective. Hmm, I'll go with Chef, I guess. Oh, undead. Small synergy. Click Flocker. Gorilla Bot's best friend? Sure. Sanguine Soldier. Got some good one drops here. Ooh. Seed Cloud Buckler. I think that's better than Dark Fallen Shadow, which is also a great card. Whoa! 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 Well, this is the first time. I've ever gotten Astalor in an arena. Exarch, pretty sweet. Pelican, that's pretty sweet. Geist, pretty sweet. These cards are bad. High Infiltrator. Ooh, buff it. It's up against uh, two other good cards, but this is a really good card. Holy, another Templar Captain. Reef Walker, I guess. Uh, I don't have that many 3 drops, so this is a good card. Uh, I don't have that many 2 drops, and this is a good card. How many infused cards do I think? I think it's just Mr. Buffett. 3 3 4. Pretty sure I have more than enough 1 drops. I should pick Peon, I figure. Yeah, just stand against darkness. I stand. Sneaky Scout number two. Seems good. Yeah, we got a lot of early game cards, so Kings should follow well. Oh, there's my Warhorse Trainer after picking a bunch of guys. Should be good. Should be really good. More Warhorse. More Warhorse Trainer, please. Defender Vargas with uh, a lot of early game. Cool. Uh, Ring of Courage with a lot of guys. That seems good. All right. That, that's a really strong deck. I think um, it's pretty frequent that you get, you know, just early game and no late game. But here, we picked up Lorthramar Theron, two Templar Captains, and an Astalor Bloodsworn, along with our very consistent 1, 2, 3, 4 drops, of which they are all solid. I am really expecting a 12 winner here. 12 winner winner, let's go. People were betting for me to lose. This would be the hand to do it with. The light dims, but we fight. Reporting for duty. So on Twitch, uh, we're. We're streaming this live, of course. There's no reason to bet on you to win when you get like 0 .003 points payout. So uh, the bet is basically, will this deck get to four plus wins? And 94% of the points are being bet on yes, and 6% are being bet on no. And this is the work of bad logic. 
it turns out that I believe it is significantly likelier than, you know, 95% chance that I'm going to get at least four wins of this deck. So anything that you managed to bet on the yes side here was just free coins. Not free coins, but like, it would take a black swan event to not go at least four wins here. And as we know from the stock market, there are no black swan events. Okay, so if this gets avenged, it becomes a 5-3. I can't kill it with this. I might as well attack first with this in case it's something else. Ow. Seven drop, eight drop, not bad. Unlucky, I won't get my Templar captains buffed. Reporting for duty. Charge. I want to protect my three one by sending the five two at the one one. Yes. My net. So the idea is you miss 5 damage, but this is has a decent chance of doing 3 damage, which means I only miss 2 damage. And then I have a 3-1. Lord the Mark cares not about the silence. Give me your best shot. Awkward two eight drops. Reporting for duty. The victory is yours. Nice. These blood cards are so good in Arena. Come under my wing. Something Bloody day. Let the world become a wash with blood. That's fine. Just play 3 3 4. Helps with exactly Buffett Biggin. while you're at it. Okay. Uh, let's see, that has 7 max health, so a flash of light does do something to it. Poke the big guy, I guess. <laughs> the relatively big guy.
I was gonna defend Revargus, but I'm not sure like why that's such a good play. It's not. I should just play a two drop plus like maybe coin a two drop. Yeah, that's fine. A mistake. My shield for Arthur. Here they come. Me not shade. Oh, here we go. Oh. Reporting for duty. Wait. Oh, minion. <laughs> uh, do I have any ways to deal damage straight to face with this deck? Not fast to taunt. But I should try to get the big card. To me. Thoughts on Against the Storm. Great game. Hard to come up with a video for it. Because it is one of those... City builder type games. Tracking their movements. I, I just don't know if you guys would want to watch... You know, a city builder. Oh, that's that's a shadow spell. To my side. It might actually be Buffett Big in here. Yeah. That's rare that no rain I would cast this. As the base side. But this is probably like the one time where it might be right. For your entertainment. What a delicious party. Well, that's really good for me. Or two trading against the two four. Here they come. 
come for the surprise KO, Ring of Courage, into Hippogriff. Hogs on the loose. Oh, no surprise. Click Clocker Synergy. Pick because of that, I guess. Plus three, plus three. Good enough here. Here they come. What's in the bot? How does Missiles compare for best card in Arena? Good question. This is probably one of the better ones. So I was looking up the win rate of cards in Paladin decks, and it looks like Leviathan number one, which isn't a surprise, Ysera number two, Astalor number three. I was a little bit surprised to find Astalor not number one. Uh, Naptralon was the seventh best card behind Flight of the Bronze, Varian, and the Sunwell. And Goliath was the 8th best card. So, we got some power on our side. But we're actually running out of fuel. Don't you dare, Hunter. Don't you dare. How incredible. That didn't quite hit. Give me your best shot. <laughs> Pressured me enough to play Goliath. It's <laughs> trolls and sure in me. Okay. My 12 and 0 run. No. Ah. I have to go 12 and 1. Unlucky. was not tight. Crystal! I'll try. I'll get that two damage valley here. So I got a stand against darkness seat cloud buckler combo someday. 
And by someday, I mean next turn. I'll probably want to go stand, coin, hand, hand. So maybe this turn, just Geist Hero Power. Or perhaps just Lost... No, no, Faith of course not. A little bit low already, thanks to the uh, Imp plus Breaker. But it will be pretty hard to deal with a board full of trash. My trash board. What spells do I got in here? Seal of Blood, Blessing Kings. Ugh, have to go down to 13. Uh, unless... Hmm... Mm, 13 and then... Blah. I don't think I can go that low. Uh, and I do want to coin Captain Templar out. What a weak buckler. What can you do? My ace card. Yeah, so frustrating, isn't it? One health left. Unlucky. Despair. As my Templar captain finishes this duel. Oh. Alright, so again, the spells were Seal of Blood and Kings. Uh, no mech in play. Six mana for Kings, I guess. Or shall I play Stand Against Darkness to fill the board? Shall I just play the Gorilla Bot? Because the only way I'll activate that was with Click Clocker. That one seems right. Tomorrow. 14 on the board, 13 on the board. Do I want to just summon zombos? Ring courage is plus 3, plus 3, it makes it 16. Summon some zombos. Zombos seems a little bit right. Spend all your mana, summon that many 2 2 zombies with rush. Three board space left, okay. So three mana left would be right. My next vessel. I have little time. My next vessel. The battle. Chat seems to think Ring of Courage is for your minions. It's enemy minions. 
With every strike, we will strike back harder. I'm not shady. The battle. All light must stand. Light, guide my hand. A red sun rising. Excellent. We have the uh, opponents ready to feel despair. I wonder if I make a guy because of Bubbler. Bubble, bubble. Guy is the counter to Bubbler. The courage of man shall not fail. Wow. Good belly. One family get you after I'm done. I hope this fits on the ship. Mm, turn six, Lorthramar. That's fun. Okay, I'm planning to set up the shield to go off on turn 6. Get the 7-7 seven, seven Divine Shield. I was going to give Pelican Diver Divine Shield as well in that turn. So therefore, skip the shield hit this turn. Big turn next turn. The opponent's at least a little bit blood, so it shouldn't be that aggressive. Is there any Dungeons and Dragons planned in the near future? I love playing Dungeons and Dragons, so if there's any streamer groups, I'm totally in. I've recently started playing in my local Adventurers League. I guess I'm hitting the 4 1 with the Faith buckler. The a little uncomfortable. For a master but, huge board. Unfortunately, Templar Captain got drawn a turn early. This 5 armor will be pretty big. Oh. If you could uh, not kill me next turn, that'd be great. Never lacks Need a bit more spice over here. Come. Floor reporting for <laughs> Inside voices, please. My compliments. Six. That five armor from Astalor has never been so important. Our gift of frost us. Flawless. My net is special. Reporting for duty. Okay. Tracking their movements. Always reporting for him. Never eat food. Yeah. King's on a friend. Hmm, a little bit close. Sweat worthy. Wait, not over? Oh, phew. You will go no further. Our gift of fire empowers us. The battle. Ah. 
my deck should have some pretty... Uh, how do you say it? A red Tempo good openings as well. Need a bit more spice over here. An incredible discovery! Oh, undead detected. Valley? Too spicy! Too Tombo. spicy! Spicy! Fellow me No, that's not right. Bloody day. The battle, and our last first. Hmm. Poor Yeti's about to get crushed. Naxxramas never lacks By this newfangled Yeti. Bay up or get out. I mean, Courage is probably going to be saved with just a card draw post Theron. So I can get to my cool stuff. Hmm. Five, five, get him. The battle. So it's actually right not to trade it. Even if I was always going to draw a card. Interesting case where I would need to trade it later so that a card I trade into is buffed. A thirst beyond death. Thirst beyond death. Uh, I'm ready to be just like you. Mm, which card do I have to play? <laughs> They're steel. That's what makes them tasty. First kill. Play the one health minion while the opponent's at three mana. To make it awkward for the fire blast. Awkwarded. Mount up. Reporting for duty. Frenzy summoned another gruntled patron. I'm like cocking my head because I could have ring of courage to my guy. If I really think about it, I believe that was better. So what was I doing? 
Tracking their movements. Tracking their movements. Time runs out on me. Reporting for duty. Here they come. The battle! Here they come. Spice over here. Time runs out on me. Bait? <laughs> A trap? Here they come. The battle, the battle. Too spicy. Reinforcements with me. Time runs out on me. You win. Oh, okay. One, two, three, four. And one health minions to bully priest. Good. Don't keep your thoughts to yourself. Need a bit more spice over here. A red sun rises. Oh, yeah, Warhorse trained. Do you only see Lost Exarch as a 4 mana 5 4? I think that's the right way to see her, and then if she survives, then belly. Expect a 4 mana 5 4, but be pleasantly surprised if she survives, and then you get two twos. Mm, Silverhand Recruit Valley on Scorpion Removal. Oh, wow. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> Reporting for duty. Me not Where's your Shadow Word Devourer now? I have so much in store for you. Three spells in hand. Ooh, impressive. No, my ice revenant. The battle. The battle. So the dream is to have zombies. With Ready to Russian fight. divine shield. The dream. The reality is four mana five four. <laughs> Templar captain at full. With the five five defender with taunt, that's pretty sweet. Did you play through the rest of Potionomics? So, unfortunately, unlike against the storm, it's bound to be super easy. So, I didn't feel the need to. Reinforcements with me. Cover me. A trivial task for a value player like myself. Light cannot exist without the dark. Take them head on. Huh? 
two spells. Time for the opponent to learn the true bad news. Cover me! Oh, after it attacks a minion. Oops. Yeah, not necessarily a mistake. Our gift of the arcane enlightens us. Intended. Our gift of For duty. Okay, apparently the opponent's representing two spells with answers, which are not drawn from spirit. <laughs> <either. Move quickly. laughs> the light shall burn. You have better. Mm, Buckler is strong enough to keep. Pelican Valley. Faith reveals the way. Reporting for you. I, I cannot strike that. No, it's the Ice Revenant again. Haha, -ha, my own rice Ice Revenant. These cards already have Divine Shield. Uh, let's see, how many undead were there? Sinful, Sue, Chef, Umbral Geist, Lost Exarch. You cannot understand the purpose. Hmm. Yeah! I probably should have coined the 1 mana 2 1 last turn. Might have given this Divine Shield. I see Templar Captain as such a strong play that I'm holding the coin in hopes that I get it, but in actuality, playing an extra one drop might have helped a lot. I'm also trying to get another target for Defender of Argus. All's well that sun wells. There's method behind this madness. Also, the gorilla bot value question mark? A red sun rising. Oh no, coins lost its purpose. Ha! My hand's bad. Let's see, what undead have died so far? Psychic Conjurer, Psychic Conjurer, I think that's it. Yep. My shield for Argus! Bloody day! Don't keep your thoughts to yourself. Time for my mighty coin. Reporting for duty. This game might have actually gone quite a bit differently if I had coined out a one drop earlier. I'm so lax with this one. Oh. 
think ultimately the result would likely have been the same, but you never know. You will go no further. Oh, very tempo priest. Survived on my mobile for a little bit while my computer crashed in a black swan event. Uh, we are on turn four, a little bit of a early game skirmish. Geist, infiltrator, hero power? Or do I throw blood sworn out there? Hero power, I guess. Oh, wouldn't that be sad, uh, sad if Astalor got objectioned? It would be too sad. Okay, that was the Astalor role player. How incredible. Time for real Astalor. I was uh, discombobulated and forgot that the hero tower did too. So, the 6 2 isn't very good. This is gonna be a doozy! Templar Theron Astalor. Oh. Okay. Do I feel the need to kill Malagos? Caligos. I think so? Ah! A genius matter bomber. Maddest bomber. Um, let's see. 14 damage. That's on average 7 and 7. Should I trade first, or should I hope that it does all the damage? Ideally, I would deal 8 damage to this. 8 and 6, and then I wouldn't have to trade the 5-4. I think it's worth gambling. So the worst case is seven seven, and then I miss um, what, I miss four damage. Uh, seven seven twelve seven. Let me think. On average, it'll use twelve charges and deal six and six. I think I have like a twenty five percent chance. All right, we're high rolling. High roll gamers. Unlucky. Hmm. Okay. 
duty. Oh, Lord Thermar might be too slow. Oh. Mm. Feels like it might be it. No, no, it's probably fun. The more you strut out, the better. Time is short. Oh? That's pretty good. Hero Peon? Wait, do I actually... I think I don't trade. Hmm. Peon says, I got this. Wolf Frozen Touch! That's... Good job, Peon. Though I'm scared. They were willing to blow a top deck frozen touch. What does that say about this hand? Something need doing. Maybe this guy just is the peon master. Never lacks corpses. So I know that the highest cost spell in that hand was a Two. It was vast wisdom. Could be tied with something else, such as another frozen touch. I feel like if you already had a frozen touch, it would be less likely to, for you to frozen touch something. Because the two get to be used concurrently, maybe? No, not sure. My next vessel! Pow, pow. That's a uh, plus six, plus six, nine, eighteen damage to face. I hope this fits on the ship. It's mostly about what I'm gonna play next turn. It's actually too hard to infuse big and so buckling. Push. Hmm. Ah. Uh. The battle. Reporting for duty. So, most likely Oasis Ally. Small chance of Counterspell. I should definitely play Templar Captain in two turns. For Buckley. Eh, but maybe I'll just play it now. Reinforcements! With me! Cover me! Ah, 
Uh oh. My deck doesn't want me to lose yet. I'm not done yet. across three is average four damage to each across four is three damage to each ideally I kill that cheesemonger before doing this Come under my wheel. Runs out on me. three damage to each on average currently after your opponent plays a minion attack it So Ring of Courage wants to be played now, but I really don't want to give them a two mana spell. So skip, I guess, for now. The Lord Gang rise up. Uh, I'd rather have two things with Divine Shield, probably. Finally, the buckler. We salute the peon who carried the early game here and drew a frozen touch. You are on Holy. Wait, we're not done yet. Oh, or are we done? 368, we're done. So tempting. So tempting. That would be wrong, right? Whatever. Eat this.
Okay, okay. Impressive. The battle. Something we do it. I see I've joined the land of the Astalors. Oh, thank you, Doctor Seven, Doctor Eight, for coming back. Let's see, what do I take? Hmm. Pretty good. Oh, I gotta remember to trade first before Lothromar. Good thing I took a moment there. In fact, it might be wrong to Lorthamar right now. That's a good... That's a good card. Yeah, that's a lot better for Tempo. It's gonna delay the Lorthamar by quite a bit. But hey, we needed that tempo, otherwise we'd get crushed here. There have been some serious board swings. Okay, this might be a big enough board that I don't get wrecked by Astalor. It's a 14 damage. If this survives, that's really good, of course. It's looking good. Okay. Okay, kill first, then play, then play. After this attacks a minion, uh, I guess we'll trade. Yeah. Okay. Got one hippogriff against a nine card hand. But I got a board. They got a cathedral. My. Holy! Okay, okay. We have to... We have to plan this out here. We need to leave one hand alive. I think that's the key. One hand. One-handed Nepshulon. Not as scary as zero-handed Nepshulon. I mean, we're, we're doomed.
All right, well, our deck was insane. We ran into some really insane decks. Eh. But my deck is really insane, too. It was fun to play such an insane deck, I guess. 